prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we come to our Lord Jesus Christ asking for forgiveness. But our Lord and Savior does not only forgive us, but Jesus wants to heal us, to heal our wounds, and to repair whatever wrong was done. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive this healing grace in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the, the highest, highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give, give you thanks for, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, 
you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldier by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade, with his spear thrust into the ground at his head, and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear, I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, Do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone's seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, Here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I will not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your inequities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he require us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. 
But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. As is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, Offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those whom, from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure, will in return be measured out to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Why did Jesus tell us to love our enemies? Bakit kaya hindi na lang niya sinabi na forgive na, forgive and forget and move on? <clears throat> 
Bakit hindi niya sinabi yun? Ang sinabi niya, love your enemies. Why did Jesus tell us not just to love our enemies? In fact, Jesus said, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If a person strikes you on one side, give the other side. If a person gets your cloak, give your tunic as well. Why did Jesus tell his disciples all of these? Because, my dear brothers and sisters, forgiveness is not just about forgetting. Forgiveness seeks to heal and to repair the wrong that was done. Forgiveness is not just about forgetting and moving on. Forgiveness is about healing the wound that was caused and repairing the damage that was done. If there is no healing, there will be no forgiveness. If the damage was not repaired, forgiveness will not be full. Ang pagpapatawad po, mga kapatid, na tinuturo ni Jesus ay hindi lamang ibig sabihin mag-move on ka na at kalimutan mo na ang maling ginawa. Ang tinuturo ni Jesus na pagpapatawad ay ayusin yung maling ginawa. Pagbayaran ang inutang. Hilumin ang sugat na ginawa. Yan ang tamang pagpapatawad. Kaya nga siguro yung iba sa inyo, marami nagsasabi sa akin, no? Minsan, nagsasabi, Father, hindi ko pa siya mapatawad. Napatawad ko na, Father. Pero masakit pa rin kapag naaalala ko. Sabi ko sa kanya, eh ilang taon na ba yung maling ginawa sa'yo? 40 years na po. 40 years na, masakit pa din. Eh baka kaya masakit kasi hindi naman naghilom ang sugat. Pinatawad mo nga, pero humingi ba ng tawad sa'yo? Baka kaya hindi naghihilom ang sugat kasi hindi naman humingi ng tawad sa'yo. Baka kaya masakit pa rin kapag naaalala mo kasi hindi pa rin inaayos yung maling ginawa. That is why forgiveness is not just about erasing, ignoring, forgetting. Forgiveness should be healing, repairing the damage that was done. That is why Jesus tells us, love your enemies. Because when you repair and heal the wound, then love will return between enemies. Hindi ko ba ang gandang tingnan nun na kapag nagkaroon kayo ng away, inayos ninyo hinilom ninyo yung sugat na ginawa, masasabi nyo sa huli, ah, we are in love again because we repaired. I did not just forget. I did not just erase. We healed 
and we repaired the damage. And so we are able to say again, we love one another. Kaya sa mga naghihinanakit pa dyan at may nararamdaman pang sakit kapag naaalala yun, tandaan natin, baka naman isinang tabi mo lang at kinalimutan mo lang, hindi mo hinilom ang sugat. Forgiveness is about healing. It is not about moving on and forgetting. It is to heal and to repair the wound. That is why Jesus tells us today to teach our enemies how do we repair, how do we heal the wound that was caused. Jesus tells us, Bless those who curse you. Yung mga nagmumura sa iyo, nagsasalita ng masasama sa iyo, pagsalitaan mo ng kabutihan. Why? Because we need to repair the damage. And we cannot repair the damage if both of us are cursing one another. Teach your enemy. You will only repair the wrong that you have done if you learn how to stop cursing and if you learn how to say good things to others. That is how you will heal the wound. Jesus tells us, if a person strikes you on one cheek, give the other as well. You are teaching your enemy, we cannot heal if we both hurt one another. Stop hurting. Stop causing pain to each other. Then we will heal the wound. Jesus teaches us, if a person gets your cloak, then give the other tunic as well. Why? Jesus asks us to teach our enemies, you will only heal your greed if you learn how to be generous and to share with one another. My dear brothers and sisters, forgiveness seeks not to forget but it seeks to heal, to change, to repair the wrong and the damage that had been done. Sana po mga kapatid, ito ang matutunan natin sa araw na ito. Ang pagpapatawad ay hindi paglimot. Sasabihin na, mag-move on na kayo, tagal-tagal na nun eh. Hindi yon ang pagpapatawad. Ang pagpapatawad ay ayusin yung maling ginawa. Ayusin, hilumin ang sugat na ginawa. Diyan magsisimula ang totoong pagpapatawad. Kaya mga kapatid, kapag mayroong halimbawa, gumawa ng mali sa inyo at isang araw bumalik sa inyo at sinabi sa inyo sorry na pwede bang kalimutan na natin yun magduda kayo teka sabihin mo hindi naman pwedeng kalimutan na agad no? pag-usapan natin ano ba yung maling ginawa mo sa akin doon magsisimula ang pagpapatawad. Kapag sinabi sa iyo na kalimutan na natin yon, magduda ka. Baka ayaw niya talagang magbago. Baka gusto niya ulitin ulit yung mali at kalimutan na lang ng kalimutan yung maling ginawa niya. At kapag tayo naman ang gumawa ng mali sa kapwa, Huwag niyo rin namang sasabihin na 
kalimutan na natin yon. Tanungin nyo rin yung sinaktan ninyo. Paano ba ako makakabawi sa'yo? Ano bang dapat kong gawin para mahilom natin yung sugat na ginawa ko? Yan ang tamang paghingi ng tawad. Hindi yung sasabihin mo sa isang sinaktan mo, mag-move on ka na, tapos na yun eh. Ah, hindi yan pagpapatawad. Kapag nangutang ka sa kapwa mo, nakubayaran mo. Pwede mo bang sabihin na mag-move on ka na, tagal na ng utang ko eh. Kalimutan na natin yun. Mahiya ka naman, no? Bayaran mo ang utang mo. Yan ang tamang pagpapatawad. Hilumin ang sugat. Bayaran ang utang. Ayusin ang maling ginawa. Yan ang pagpapatawad. Mayroon tayong magandang dalawang halimbawa. In our first reading from the book of Samuel, we hear the story of Saul and David. Saul was searching for David in order to kill him. Pero naunahan siya ni David. David saw Saul sleeping inside a cave. And the companion of David told him, This is your chance. This is your opportunity. He wants to kill you. He is now sleeping. Kill him. But you know what David did? He did not kill Saul. Instead, he took the shield and armor of Saul. And the following morning, he showed Saul and the army of Saul. See, I was there last night. I could have killed you. But I showed you mercy. David corrected the wrongdoing of Saul by showing him mercy and kindness. Ang pagpapatawad ay hindi lamang pag-alis. Ang pagpapatawad ay itama yung mali. And the greatest forgiveness and mercy that we receive is from our Savior, Jesus Christ. In our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, we are reminded that we as persons bear the image not only of the earthly Adam, but the heavenly one as well. The second reading teaches us to imitate how Jesus forgave us and loved us. And the greatest image of that heavenly Adam is on the cross. Jesus did not just say, Okay, I will forgive you and erase your sins and forget it. No. Jesus became man. He was crucified on the cross. He suffered sin. The effects of sin, He suffered on the cross. He was ridiculed. He was cursed. He was tortured. He was hated. But what did came out of the mouth of Jesus on the cross? Minura din ba niya ang mga tao? Sinigawan ba niya ang mga nagpapahirap sa kanya? Sabi ba niya, paghihigantihan ko kayo kapag ako'y nabuhay na muli? Jesus told those who are torturing and cursing Him on the cross, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. On the cross, Jesus healed 
our sins. On the cross, Jesus corrected cursing, torture, hate, anger, killing. All of those Jesus experienced on the cross. And He did not exact revenge. He corrected it by loving, by healing, by correcting us. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Sunday Eucharist, we are gathered around the table of the Eucharist. Let us be reminded to forgive one another. Forgive meaning not to forget, not to move on. Forgiving means healing the wound, repairing the damage. Sana sa araw na ito, ay ito ang matutunan po natin sa salita ng Diyos. Ang pagpapatawad ay hindi paglimot at pag-move on. Ang pagpapatawad ay hilumin ang sugat na ginawa, ayusin ang sira na dinulot. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The prayers we make as the worshiping church are put before a compassionate Father who knows our needs and who understands our weakness. Let us now pray in a spirit of loving trust. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church in her universal ministry of mercy and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the grace to be able to forgive our enemies, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the mercy which helps us not to pass judgment on others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and who face the final judgment of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Kind and merciful Father, these prayers we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. 
Grant them, we ask you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you, that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our it, God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration, especially for those of you who have come from different places outside Manila or even uh, outside Metro Manila. Thank you for coming over to the Manila Cathedral to visit the home of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception. And we also continue to thank all those who are joining us in this celebration through the different social media platforms and the different social media pages who continue sharing our celebration of the Eucharist from the Manila Cathedral. As we go home, may we learn how to forgive and forgiveness will only be fulfilled with healing, with repairing the wrong that was done. Sana po ay hindi nyo lang maalala ngayong araw na magbayad ng utang. Hindi lamang po yun. Sana po ay simulan natin ang pagpapatawad unang-una sa pamamagitan ng pag-aayos, pagtatama ng mali. Sapagkat ang pagpapatawad ay paghihilom ng sugat at pagtatama ng maling ginawa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven, forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.